let's begin with the right hand. Since in this lesson we're going to continue the same progression from the previous lesson, let's begin with a quick review of what we did in the previous lesson. So starting with finger one on the C, and then finger five on the higher C, we proceeded to play this. Notice the fingers that we used were 1, 5, 4, 5, 3, 5, 2, 5, 1, 5. Again, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5. And then we moved all the way down one white note, and we did the same thing. 1, 5, 4, 5, 3, 5, 2, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5. Now comes the new part, but we're going to do exactly the same thing, shift it down one more note again. We're going to start on the A this time with the thumb, and to a higher A with finger five. And we're going to do the same pattern. One, five, four, five, three, five, two, five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five. Okay, and from now on we'll start from there. Starting on the A with finger one, we're going to do a, A, G, A, F, A, E, A, D, A, C, A, B, A, A, A. Okay, let me do that one more time without saying anything. Now from there, we're going to play that A again to a G sharp, to an F sharp, to a G sharp, and then we're going to play the A again twice. With the finger numbers, it's five, four, three, four, five, five. And the rhythm goes like this. So it's five, four, three, four, five, five. And we're going to hold that last note for a whole measure. Let's do the whole new part in the right hand. Now let's go to the left hand. Once again, I'll do a quick review of what we did previously because we're gonna be continuing the same patterns. Remember we started with A with finger five to A with finger one, and then we went all the way up to E, C, A, C, E, C. We did that three times, but for the purpose of this lesson, I'm just going to do it once. From there, we did the same thing on the D. And then we went to G. And then to a C. Now for this lesson, we're going to do that same pattern, but we're going to start on an F. So we have F with finger five, F with finger one, and then we're going to go up to a C with finger three, a with finger 5, F with finger 1, A with finger 5, C with finger 3, A with finger 5. So again we have F, F, C, A, F, A, C, A. With the finger numbers 5, 1, 3, 5, 1, 5, 3, 5. And after that, we're going to do the same thing on a D. We actually already did this one in the previous lesson. It's just D with finger five, D with finger one, then to the A, F, D, F, A, F. Okay, so starting from the F to the D. From there, we're going to go to an E with finger five, E with finger one, and then up to the B with finger three. Now this one we have to be a little careful because we're going to go to a G sharp with finger five, then the E, G sharp, B, G sharp. Again, we have E, E, B, G sharp, E, G sharp, B, G sharp. With fingers five, one, three, five, one, 
five, three, five. So from the beginning of this part, starting on the F, and we're going to finish this lesson by going to the A and doing the same pattern that we started with at the beginning of the song. Again, that A is A, A, E, C, A, C, E, C, with fingers five, one, three, five, one, five, three, five. Okay, let's do the whole left hand. Now let's go ahead and put both hands together. So remember the right hand, we're going to start on the A and the left hand on that F. All right, so we have the A and the F, and then the high A and the high F, and then the left hand is going to the C, while the right hand goes to that G, and then they both go to A's, the left hand going down, the right hand going up. Let's do that part. And then the left hand will go to the higher F, while the right hand goes to the lower F. And then back to the A's. The left hand to the C, the right hand to the E. And then back to the A's. Again. And now the left hand is going to go to the D, while the right hand goes to a D. And then the left hand goes to the higher D, while the right hand goes to the A. So from that D, and then the left hand will go up to the A, while the right hand goes to the C, the left hand to F, right hand to A, the left hand to D, right hand to B, back to the F and A, the left hand to the A, the right hand to the lower A, the left hand to the F, the right hand to the A. Let's do the whole thing so far. From there, the left hand goes to the E, while the right hand plays the A, and then the left hand goes to the higher E. The right hand is still holding that A, so we have and then when the left hand goes to the B, the right hand goes to that G sharp. And then the left hand goes to the G sharp and the right hand to the F sharp. Notice the right hand goes to the G sharp while the left hand goes to the E there. Back to the G sharp and the left hand holding that G sharp in the right hand as well. Back to the B with the left hand. And then when the left hand goes back to the G sharp the final time, the right hand goes to an A. And then the right hand is going to play an A again, while the left hand goes to the lower A. So we have... And then the left hand will continue to finish this part, while the right hand holds down that A the whole time. Let's do the whole part now. And now let's add in some pedal, just as I did in the previous lesson. I'm going to press the pedal at the beginning of each measure, holding it down for the whole progression, and then releasing and pressing down again for each new progression. So we have pedal, 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 pedal. 
Let me do it one more time without saying the word pedal. Finally, let's do the whole song from the beginning. <laughs> 